Look at there, look at there. Uh, and uh, Byron over there. Yes, okay. My name is Ronald Jackson, also known as Cowboy, spelled with a K. But guess what? This ain't my first rodeo. Back in 2012, no, let's go back to 2011, in front of Rahm Emanuel, a lady suffering from mental health stood up and said, Rahm, if you close my clinics, I will die. Yep. Ellen Gordon. Yep. After Rahm closed her Beverly Clinic, a few weeks later, she did die. Helen Morley was found dead. She they believed died. that it was heartbreak syndrome. Glenn Ford, a, 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 a person that sought mental health treatment for one of the clinics, he constantly said, it took a whole damn year just to heal my body, a whole damn year just to heal my body. And guess what? Right now, 22 years later, he's still waiting to get his body healed. He ended up having to leave Chicago and go to uh, California because every time he had an episode, they would call out the SWAT team. Come on, Chicago, right now, you have a public mental health uh, network that doesn't even have a psychiatrist on board. You have, uh, you have all of the infrastructure of talking about reopening a mental health clinics when, in essence, the facts that you have right now are understaffed. And the Department of Health itself is drastically understaffed. The police department is understaffed. I am a member of the uh, Mental Health Advisory Board to the city of Chicago through the, mental, through the uh, Department of Health. Guess what? The idea of us sitting here and having these conversations back and forth, in order for another mental health clinic to be open, the Public Mental Health uh, Advisory Board has to is in that conversation you'll see me again when you start talking about making your interim commissioner commissioner of the uh, city's department of health why because we cannot bring in fresh blood we cannot bring in intelligence to a failing already system right now the department of health is more like the titanic has already sank and we're trying to revitalize it we cannot, we, we, I repeat, we cannot keep doing the same thing over and over again, having new faces put in front of me and expect a different outcome. That's what insanity looks like. And unless we get to treatment not trauma on the real, insanity is going to continue. Thank you for your question.